1070 WIBC. We are live at the track, brought to you by your central Indiana Chevy dealers. We drive Chevy. Jeff Pigeon, Steve Simpson here at Pagoda Plaza in the garage this morning. Uh, Terry Stacy, Dave the King Wilson, and Joe Stasniak. And guys, I thought that I saw Bizarro AJ walking around. You well, see yes, him? we do. We have, let me tell you, Pidge, and, uh, and uh, Terry, number one, are you excited, Terry? I'm it's very excited, The four time champion here and all that. AJ, nice to see you. Thank you. Appreciate being here with y'all. Good to see you. Now, A.J., what's uh, the biggest change you've seen here at the track this year? Well, we're glad to be here all in all. You know, I got my two drivers this year, Greg Ray and that Aaron Dare. It's and, uh, Ayrton. Ayrton, A.J. Well, like I said, you know, Aaron Dare, he's a good driver. He's okay. from Brazil. And, yeah. you know, we used to want American drivers here. But, you know, if these foreign drivers bring sponsorship cash, well, we'll look at them, too. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do, huh, A.J.? Well, this is quite true. Like I said, you know, the biggest change I've seen here at the track that I don't like this year is these sissy walls they built. Yeah. Tony George put these sissy <laughs> walls up. I've always believed since the 50s, if you ain't man enough to drive a race car into a hard wall, well, you just ain't man enough to drive a race car, you know. <laughs> All in all, I just think if these walls, I don't know yet, it's new. If these walls bounce a car back onto the main track, well, by lap 50, we could be playing bumper cars at Kitty Land here. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, be true with you all in all. You know, we got three target cars and my two Harris cars, and I think today's race could be a real battle between the casinos and that flashing blue light at that Target department store. So, you know, but I think I know I'll win the race then because the casino certainly has a higher profit margin uh, than the department store. Everybody knows that. Well, A.J., who, who do you, what, 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 uh, what don't you like about uh, Indy this year, A.J.? Well, the, it's great to be here. It's always great to be here. But, right. But what I really like most this year about Indianapolis is that Mario Andretti hasn't come back to complain a lot. He hasn't <laughs> been here. You know, right. Racer Magazine did this thing that said, you know, who's the number one driver of the century, and they said he was over right. me. Well, I think most people here in Indianapolis know that people still think their old Uncle A.J. is still number one. That's right. Uh, I'll tell you all y'all something about Andretti. I'll tell you what, I could start a winery off all his sour grapes when he's complaining all the time. We're just glad he ain't here. Tony George took his sweet away and just as well, just have the real king here, and that's me. Oh, no. All right, so who do you who do you hope wins today, A.J.? Well, to be truthful with you, I, I'd like to see an IRL driver. I'm tired of seeing these mama's boys from Card come here and take everything. And <laughs> really? If I want to see a mama's boy win this race, I'll hire WIBC's Matt Hibbler to drive the race car. <laughs> hey, you know, he does enough. Some, you know, he, yeah. he just don't know what he's doing out there. That's right. Well, A.J., it's great to see you, a four-time champion, and uh, good luck today in well, racing. Thank you. I appreciate being with you all. We hope to run the wheels off them. We're just giving them, give them, give them a great race out there. We'll see you all. All right. See you, A.J. And there goes the <laughs> four-time champion.